Hey there YouTube, it's Aisha and this is Vedo Day 1 and today I'm talking to you about my 15 favorite paranormal suspense mystery horror authors. So my number one favorite should be so no surprise to anyone, I talk about her all the time and that is L.A. Banks and this is her Crimson Moon series. I absolutely love her other two series and this is the only series I haven't read by her so this is going to be in another <laughs> video. But I absolutely love L.A. Banks. She's one of the first black authors I've read who writes contemporary paranormal. Definitely check her out. My second favorite is another from <clears throat> the olden days um, and I've been reading her for many many years and that is Tracy Phobes. She writes um, historical paranormal um, and her characters are always like totally um, different. She writes like fae paranormal um, and I really enjoy them. I can't explain her paranormal stories like they're so good and they're not what you would expect which is why I love her. Another old, old favorite is Maggie Shane. And she writes um, both contemporary paranormal, paranormal suspense, paranormal romance, mysteries, all of it. Maggie Shane has been writing in this genre for generations, it feels like. <laughs> um, she's been writing in this genre for a few decades now, and I really enjoy reading her work. She's an amazing author to read, and I really, really love reading her because she's a pagan, she's a witch, and she's out about it. Phenomenal. Another old school favorite who writes um, stories that are about the non-traditional paranormal creatures is Shayna Abe. She writes about dragons before anybody started writing about dragons. She wrote about the Fae before anybody was really writing about the Fae and about mermaids before anybody was really writing about them. I really enjoy her stories. She creates wonderful characters and a lot of them tend to be historical romances, historical paranormal romances, but that's okay because she writes phenomenally. Another old school one you might not hear a lot about is Susan Crenard. She was writing a lot about um, wolves and werewolves and uh, were creatures really early on and I really enjoyed her writing. She was one of the ones that I first got into when I was reading about werewolves and I have loved her writing since. Another paranormal old school favorite is um, Charlene Harris. This is a Sookie Stackhouse book. And I loved the Southern Vampire series um, for a long time before it became made into a show. Um, and now I'm catching up on the show. There are a lot of big differences between the books and the show. One of the major ones is about Godric. If you've read the books and seen the show, you know what I mean. Um, another old school favorite is Laurel K. Hamilton. She has two major series that she writes. And this is the Anita Blake series, and then the other one is the Mary Gentry series. Mary Gentry is a fae princess born here in the United States. Um, she's the firstborn fae princess in Generations, and the fae are out and about. The Anita Blake series, the vampires are out of the coffin. And um, this came well before the Charlene Harris series. Um, this is really old, and I really, really love the um, Anita Blake and I can only vouch for Anita Blake up to the Harlequin. After that I can't vouch for anything that was written after that because I stopped reading after the Harlequin. But I really love everything before that. Obsidian Butterfly is my favorite one. Lilith Lilith St. Crow. I think her name is very humorous because that is a paranormal name if I ever saw one. Lilith being the first, um, if you follow Christian theology um, or Abrahamic theology, Lilith was the first woman to marry Adam and when she disobeyed him, um, she became a demon who spawns demons every day. Saint Crow. <laughs> um, and then she writes paranormal books. This one is The Devil's Right Hand, but this is an entire series with this young woman whose job it is. Um, she made a deal with the devil and her job it is um, her name is Dante Valentine and she's a necromancer and a bounty hunter and her um, the person that's in charge of her is a demon and it's just a wonderful series I what Did I the video? it's alright I can edit it out or you could tell him I said, your 
from Brixton, Britain. I don't know how to say that. All right, the next one is another old school favorite, and this is PC Cast. And this book in particular, I did not like, but I love the rest of the series, so I hang on to this one. And this is her Goddess Summon In series, as well as her Mistake series. Um, and the first one was Divine by Mistake, and I love that one. It was so good. It's this young woman gets snatched into Parthenon, which is where the Greeks. All the fairy tale characters you know of live, and um, this is the woman that is her twin um, here in this world, and it's just an amazing series. I really, really enjoyed it. Ephelmy's Choice and um, Bridget's Quest are the spin off, the young adult versions of this, um, and I haven't read those either, and I plan to read them. But PC Cast, wonderful writer, her Goddess Summoning series is one of my favorite series ever. Because that one is where the goddesses and hum regular human beings switch places or are inhabited or they work with each other. Freaking phenomenal. The next one is another old school favorite of mine. And that is Karen Marie Moaning. This series I have not read. The Dark Fever series. Um, or the Fever series, whatever it's called. I have not read the series, but I've read her other series. And I loved them. The... Highlander series with the Fae and Highlanders and just time travel and smoking hot men and just witty and sarcastic and strong women just phenomenal. Karen writes books that makes you dive in and not want to come out till you're finished. I have not read the Fever series because I'm not a fan of long building romances and that's what the series is. It takes a while before they get to the good stuff and I understand patience is a virtue but you know what? No. No, no. <laughs> and that's kind of... Yeah. The next one is Heather Graham. I've been a huge Heather Graham fan since I first read her first book. And I still love her to this day. She writes phenomenal paranormal romances as well as paranormal um, suspense. Um, if you've never read a Heather Graham book, you need to. Her characters have magic in everyday life and just phenomenal absolutely love her another one that I love is Gina Showalter Gina used to write books about the djinn and um, and about the gods and about Atlantis and this series I haven't read yet and this is the Lords of the Underworld I've read a couple of books in the series but I haven't read the entire series and I plan to but Gina is amazing her books are well written her characters are funny witty and strong characters that you want to read and love and just amazing Another one is Christine Feehan, of course, and I am completely caught up with the Carpathian series, and now it's time to move on to the Drake Sisters and the Game series. So I've collected most of these, so I'm going to start reading them. Um, I read the very first one when it first came out, and I remember a lot of it, surprisingly. But now I need to move on to the rest of the series. Another one that I love is Cheyenne McGray, and this is a trilogy. I only have the last book in this trilogy to read, but I want to reread the entire series to make sure I have everything rem remembered. Um, and this one is, oh my god, a phenomenal series about a witch in um, San Francisco. I'm trying to remember everything without reading the back because I don't want to spoil myself. But she writes really good, strong characters as well. And this is one of the first times in a long time that I saw a really positive image of a witch in a modern contemporary paranormal. Um, other than by Maggie Shane. <laughs> and Cheyenne's characters were well written. So I highly recommend her as well. And the newest one to this pile is Lindsay Piper. I read Caged Warrior and I read the prequel book that came before Caged Warrior. And the next one I'm going to read is Blood Warrior. I'm reading that this month and I love her writing. These are about descendants of dragons and she writes a phenomenal story and you care about the characters and you care about what you're reading and you just love love them absolutely phenomenal and i really recommend her as well and she's the newest one to the pile everybody else have read tons of their books or tons of their writing she's the newest one to the pile i've only read two of her things and there are a few honorable mentions rachel kane um as soon as i said Jin, i remembered rachel kane was the first author i read that wrote a paranormal series about the Jin and made them 
fully functional characters without humans as well as with humans. Phenomenal series if you've never read it. It's called the Weather Maven series. I'm sure I have it on my shelf. I just don't. Excuse me. I just don't want to dig it out. Um, and there are more. And there are going to be so many more of these videos. Um, if you liked this video, leave it in the comments down below. Let me know what your 15 top paranormal romance or romantic suspense or top horror authors in the paranormal genre are. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.